Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, we're back into my Build Me kind of series that I started with you guys. I think the last thing that I did with you guys was uh, put the motherboard in and uh, best practice where the screw is supposed to be and all that good stuff. So today's build, we're actually going to put the our CPU, uh, 3.40 gigahertz AMD processor, 8 core, quad core processor, uh, our 8 gigs of Fury. HyperX memory sticks. Um, I'm only putting eight gigs for now, but in the future videos, I'm gonna be upgrading it to the max, which I believe is 32 gigs. That's what the motherboard is able to support. Uh, we're also putting our CPU uh, heat sink on our processor to keep it nice and cool. And also I went to Radio Shack and purchased some thermal compound for the installation of the CPU and also the heat sink. So let's get started. Let's open up this case up. As always, I forgot to get my, um, my wristband. So I'm, I'm going to try to rub, rub a dub dub on the case, get all that electricity out of my system. And there you go. Look at the beauty of this nice, small, little motherboard. How awesome is that? So first things first, let's open up our CPU. Okay, so I finally got the processor open. Uh, so there it goes, how beautiful is that? Make sure you handle this with care, okay guys? So I'm gonna put the plastic thing away. And how beautiful is this? Oof, this is beautiful. Uh, got this nice little cushion to keep the gold metal pins nice and secure. So we're actually gonna place the CPU processor right here. Uh, this little bar right here what actually keeps it nice and locked so you need to like push it to the side and then push it up to open it up and we're going to easily just put our processor so now the the way that you know that you put in it correctly is if you see this little pin right here this little this little mark right here this mark basically tells you that you're placing it in the right way now the base of the processor the cpu you're going to see another little mark right here there's a small little triangle mark right there just indicating that it belongs right there and once you're settled it's inside it's nice inserted you're going to put down the pin it's going to feel a little bit of tight but don't worry about it. you're not breaking it you're going to push it all the way down and then the pin goes to the side and it clicks and then you go done now next things first the next thing is our cpu cooler which is our cpu fan which is going to keep our processor nice and cool uh, eventually, I'm going to be upgrading this bad boy to something a little heavier and bigger. So stay tuned for that video. And so let's open this up and let's see what we have here. Ooh, how beautiful is that? We have the beautiful CPU. Now, this CPU already comes with a little bit of thermal paste. And I am going to do is put a little bit more on top of the processor. So I'm going to take the CPU fan and put it to the side. And I am going to take the, my Radio Shack thermal compound paste that I purchased. And you don't really need to use a lot, just a, just a little bit, not too much. So there's, here it goes. Let's put this to the side. And we're going to open this up. As so we're going to open this up. There we go. There we go. I don't think I need to poke any holes on it. So what I'm going to do is just a little bit, just a little bit. There you go. That's it. That's all you need, guys. And just put the cap back on because eventually this thing is good for the future. Keep that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this bad boy in. We just put this bad boy in. And I don't know if there is a specific way of putting this because as you can see, both, uh, both mechanisms on the side of the CPU will make this fit. And uh, I'm just going to put it, let's put it like this. And let's easily just put it down into the CPU. I just want to make sure. Let's put it inside the CPU. This is like, there you go. Beautiful. And on this particular heat sink, you got to make sure that you have these metal things hooked up to the base over here. There we go. It's fully in there. And then that means I could basically just... Pull this to lock it in, right? And there it goes. It is locked in. Beautiful, awesome, super excited. 
Both sides are hooked up into this nice little black base which keeps the CPU nice and intact. And again, I just placed a little bit of thermal paste. The CPU cooler, the, the fan already had a, a paste already in it. But I just want to add a little bit more paste to it. Why not? So the next thing is the CPU. So the next thing that we have to do is our memory. Again, I purchased uh, Fury HyperX uh, 4 gig sticks. I will be purchasing a bunch of more memory to upgrade this into 32 gigs because the motherboard only supports 32 gigs. So let's open up the memory. Oh, I'm super excited about opening up the memory for some reason. And there goes one. Now, when you're opening up the memory, make sure that you have all your memory stuff already open, already out in the open, ready to take and place. Now, a lot of people, what they do is when they put the memory, they will place it inside any dim slot. Now, that's not the way to do it. If you pay attention, these dims are actually numbered. It, uh, this one right here is dim one, dim three, dim two, and dim four. So the gray one starting from here, depending on what motherboard you guys are using, this one is dim one, three, two, four. So this is one, two, three, four. So the way that you want to do it is you want to put it on dim one and dim two. When you're upgrading and placing more, put it on three and four. Do not put it on one and three, okay? Do not put it in three and two. Don't put, don't put it in four and one. Don't do that. It's just, for me, that I don't think that's best practice. Best practice is you do it on numbers. So let's do it on one. So one is on the gray. So let's take out the first uh, memory out. There goes the first memory. And you got to make sure you follow that nice little slit right there. I'm going to put it on the gray. So the gray, both grays are one and two. So we're going to put it right inside the slot. There you go. And then we're going to push slightly with both our thumbs on both ends until you hit the click. Beautiful, beautiful, awesome. So let's do the other stick the same way. Again, do not put it next to the one that you just placed in because that, that slot is number three. We do not want to do one and three. We want to do one and two. And oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, hey, when these things give me trouble taking out, you serious? There we go. <laughs> And the same thing, just follow the nice little slits and follow the pattern, guys. Just follow the pattern. And there you go. We're going to nicely insert it there. Beautiful. Take both thumbs, put it on the side of the memory stick and just firmly push down until you hit the click on both sides. And that's it, guys. Uh, you just inserted two four gig sticks, which is going to give you eight gigs in total. We, we placed our CPU fan as well as our AMD FX quad core processor. Super excited about that. And uh, that's it, guys. I, again, I'm super excited about this build. I think on the next build, we are going to put our one terabyte hard drive as well as our um, power unit. We got to place our power unit because and then because our power unit is very important. So it's going to power everything up and make sure it's up and running with no problem. And then I think on the final video, we are going to do a little bit of cable management as well as plugging everything inside the motherboard. Uh, because it's, without plugging anything in the motherboard, nothing will work and communicate with each other, right? Duh. And then uh, on that same video, and we're also going to decide what operating system would be best for this build. Uh, I'm leaning towards maybe Windows 7. I bet you a lot of people will like, just put Linux on it. I don't know. And that's it, guys, for the build. Hopefully, you guys stay tuned for the next build. Again, the next build is going to be all about uh, hooking up the power supply as well as the hard drive. Leave comments below if you have any questions or comments. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.